What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 historic rebuild. And today we are doing what if Dwight Howard was never traded from the Orlando Magic. So this takes us all the way back to prior of the 2012 offseason, where in that offseason, Dwight Howard was trading the four-team trade. It's actually pretty wild how many moving pieces there were. The Lakers got Dwight Howard. The 76ers paid a pretty premium price for uh, Andrew Bynum and Jason Richardson. Uh, I'll let you know who they give up in a second. The Magic got Aaron Afal, Al Harrington, Mo Harkless, Nikola Vucevic, and three first round picks, but I think protected. And the Nuggets got uh, Iggy. So I think like the Lakers obviously kind of got screwed a little bit in this move or in this deal, but so did the 76ers. The 76ers basically traded away Andre Gudala, Nikola Vucevic, and I believe a first, uh, I think, for Andrew Bynum, who, like, I think played... I don't know if he ever played for them off the top of my head. I don't think he did. And Jason Richardson. But, yeah, this has been requested by a bunch of you guys. So, um, here we are on 2K19 uh, with this. The roster's okay. Uh, it's probably the best one I could find. There is a couple generated guys, like you'll see. But once we get into this offseason with the draft class, because there'll be, like, 40 new dudes, like, it'll even out. So, I'm not worried about that too much. And there's some guys in free agency um, that are real players in real life. Uh, Patrick Beverly, what was he drafted? I couldn't even tell you, but he would be 23 this time. And there's a lot of Lonnie Widens, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. So, this is our rotation. Um, I'm just going to let season number one pretty much finish. It's really not that good outside of Dwight. Like, this is, I guess, going into the rebuilding year. JJ Reddick's only 27. I mean, I can look at who's a free agent at the end of the year and maybe try to flip, like, Ryan Anderson because I don't want to get nothing for him. Like, what could I do get if I threw up Ryan Anderson and Larry Hughes on the trade finder? Like, I'm just looking for somebody that I will have team control over next year. Like, Avery Bradley, would he be on his rookie deal still? Ooh, I like this. And I'd be able to get Jeff Green. I like that. I could get Eric Bledsoe, who's still on his rookie deal, and DeAndre Jordan, who's on a four-year deal. Mm, that's also good. Canner and Favors. Decent front coat over there in Utah. All right. I actually really liked this Bradley and Jeff Green, but I am going to choose the Bledsoe and DeAndre Jordan combo. And yeah, so I'll just show you guys at the end of season number one. Um, I don't really care for what we do, but I think Dwight being really freaking good will carry us to the playoffs either way. So in a historic rebuild, what else happens when there's an MVP? It's it's always LeBron. It is always him. But we go 58 and 24, so I'm surprised maybe Dwight wasn't in that combo. Was he like anywhere close? Uh, he averaged 26 and 21. All right, we are getting this man a ring. Derek Favors, Rookie of the Year. Um, I guess he gets it over Kyrie. Harden, Sixth Man of the Year. Dwight gets Steve. Oh, my God, dude. Look at those numbers. He actually shot 25% from three, which is, might be the most impressive one. Damn. Oh, my God. Almost two steals a game. Sheesh. Uh, Melo, Most Improved. And David F the Knicks went 70 and 12. So, I'll be first team. We do get Dwight Howard. Uh, he's probably the only Magic to probably make anything for us. Unless Bledsoe was an all rookie, but now he was the 2010 draft, I believe. So, that would even work. Um, but no, bunch of Wadi Widens who averaged. What did this one average? He averaged four points a game. Got it. But the Knicks, I'm like more shocked about them. Who do they have? Jeremy Lynn, J.R. Smith, Melo, Stoudemire, Tyson Taylor. This team would say. I guess because they have no Wadi Widens play, but. Damn, okay, New York. So we're taking on Philly in round one with Drew Holiday, Lou Will, Iggy, because this is prior to the trade. Dad Young and Elton Brand and Vucevic and Turner and Meeks. So Jason Richardson averaged 16, uh, six and a half, four and a half. There's JJ Redick. A lot of guards on this team. Um, we're going to definitely need to find that power forward to work well with them. Maybe we'll draft Zion. Just kidding. Anthony Davis would be a nice draft pick here, but I don't know if I want to go for him, nor do I know if I have the assets to move up that high. So we were six in scoring. Were we... Uh, top 10 in defense, we were. We were about 10. At point differential, we were 7th. Wow. So many double-digit point differentials. This is kind of absurd. Because usually, if you do, like, normal minor leagues, there'll only be, like, a hand, like, a uh, hand few over 10. Like, you'd be lucky if you even see more than 3 over 10. But, alright. So, we're taking on Philly in round 1. Can we not get upset? Come on, Dwight. Carry us to the next round to face the 70 and 12 next. Alright, we're up 3 to 1. And after playing on old 2Ks... Like, this sim is so much slower in the playoffs and throughout the regular season than old 2Ks were. I don't know why. I really don't. Maybe I gotta get, like, the PS4 Pro and it'd be different or play on PC. I don't know, because I'm just on a standard PS4. And, oh my god, we, we pull off the upset? Let's go. What is Dwight averaging? Okay, he's averaging 9. Like, this is his video, so I'm sorry for my dick riding a lot and going on him a lot. But I'll focus on him right now. And he's, like, kind of our most exciting player. So we're taking on Atlanta. And, okay, we're down 2-0. But we tie it up 2-2. We're up 3-2. Are we going to the finals in year one? We do. 
Yo, all right. Uh, Hawks. They got Je they had Jeff T. T. Mac. Okay, T. Mac was a hawk. I don't even remember that. Uh, oh, he's thirty two, so he wasn't really a good hawk. So we're taking on the Thunder. You know who they got? The big four. I'm uh, counting Abaka, and they sweep us. Kevin Durant was the Finals MVP. It's hard to beat Harden, Westbrook, KD, and Abaka, but it's okay. So I don't really care for any of those. I do have it where everybody keeps their draft pick. And these are going to be the OG lottery odds because that's how they were in 2012. So we are going to be picking where in the draft? We are picking 25. Okay. Charlotte picking one like they did in real. No. The Pelicans were picking one. They picked two and they got Kid Gilchrist. So uh, I'm definitely going to try to move in the top five. Now, I want to see, is Stan Van Gundy an option? Because he was their coach during this time. But unfortunately, I don't think I could draft him. So uh, I'm not going to. I'm probably just going to go best coach available. Uh, like, D'Antoni, can I get Steve Kerr? He would cost me a pretty penny, but uh, who says pretty penny? I don't know. That was really stupid to say. But if I could get him, that would be kind of clutch. We get Steve Kerr. Okay. Wait, Randy Martin wants to climb my deal? Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Okay, cool. And assistant coach, do we have any money? Ugh, I'm not even going to look at that. All right, so I'm being draft. This is the 2012 draft quest. So obviously, outside of Anthony Davis, you have good guys like Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, Harrison Barnes, Draymond Green. Uh, Andre Drummond, I'm off the top of my head. All right, so I'm definitely going to try to move up in the draft. Uh, DeAndre Jordan might be a big part of that. Okay, so I'm going to actually do this trade with the Trailblazers. So I'm going to get the 10th pick, and I'm going to get there first next year. I kind of want to do this without Quinn and Richardson, though. Like, can we? I'll throw in my first at 20. I'll throw in actually two seconds. And do I have just a crappy player like DeAndre Wiggins? No, okay. Uh, come on. Uh, I don't want to throw it. You know, you know, we'll just throw in Quinn Richardson. I really didn't want to, but oh well. So we have the 10th pick in the draft. So hopefully somebody falls to me. Oh my God. This is like one of the worst thing to happen to me. So Davis, Lillard, King Gilchrist, Beal, uh, and Drummond, and Parnes, and Draymond all went. So I'm going to take a 17-year-old. I don't know why he's listed as 17. Uh, his name is Chris Middleton. Don't know why, but he's 76 overall. Not a terrible pick. And I'm also going to try to package my first now for a first next year. Uh, I'll take Milwaukee's first in 2021. No, I'd want a 2020 first. All right, all right, San Antonio's fine. I'll take it. All right, so I'm pretty happy with Chris Middleton. I don't know if he'll start right away because he's a 74 overall. I could send him to the G League for a year, and then he'd be a pretty good player for us. So I definitely want to bring back Bledsoe Wiggins. That won't be the case. So free agency. Damn, Harden went back. He usually doesn't. All right, whatever. So qualifying offers, we have none. Please tell me free agency is somewhat de decent. Don't tell me it's like trash. All right. Iggy would be a clean pickup, but he wants 31 mil. Brandon Roy. Oh, my God. He's going to get paid. Uh, like, Tim Duncan. Like I said, I want a power forward, and I see Kevin Love. Huh. What did he put up last year? Kevin Love wouldn't be a bad addition to pair up with Dwight Howard. Uh, we do have the money. So, I'm going to offer him a four-year, $100 million contract. So, 25 mil a year, obviously. Uh, now we do, I do want a point guard, but there is really no huge upgrade over Jimmy Nelson. So I'm going to just get it back up like a Jared Jack for this year. Uh, actually no, we have Bledsoe. What am I talking about? So let me see what I actually need. So we have one, two. If we get Kevin Love, I still need three other dudes. Like I, I really want to throw Iggy and Max, but that's not really worth 30 mil. So I do need to start a small forward. So we're going to get guys that actually played with Dwight, uh, like a Richard Lewis, I'm going to sign him to a one-year deal. I'm also going to try to get Trevor Ariza on a one-year deal. So we go three for three. That's what I'm talking about. We get Kevin Love, Richard Lewis, and Trevor Ariza. And also, we are going to need a backup center. So I will take a... Can I get Elton Brand for a year? Can I afford all these? I probably... I think I can. So if we get all four of those, that's not bad at all. And I'll see you guys at training camps. Actually, a lot of people like want to see player progression a lot. So I'll start showing that if you guys really want to see this. So Bledsoe's actually probably going to start for us next year with JJ at the two. I'm debating... Do I want to send Middleton to the G League for next year? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Lewis went down a little bit, but he's probably going to be like the 10th man. I'll probably start a reason at the three. There was like a point in time in like this era where Dwight Howard was considered arguably like the best player in the Eastern Conference. Obviously, LeBron probably got most of that attention, especially when he went to Miami. But he was probably known as the second best player in the Eastern Conference. Probably him and like D-Wade. Um, I guess then when Melo got traded, that was also a debate. But when Melo got traded to New York, that's when Dwight Howard kind of started falling off. Um, but I'm going to definitely send Chris Middleton on top potential. Also want to send Kevin Love there. He's now up to an A+. Plus, and then I'm going to wrap it off with Eric Bledsoe. Okay, so here's how the rotation's going to go. We got Bledsoe at the 1, Redick 
at the two, Ariza at the three. We're going 37 minutes to our really good front court, and then Middleton is the six man. I tried thinking about signing just a replacement dude and putting him in the G League, but only the free agents are 40 overall, Lonnie Wyden, so I was just like, screw it. And then uh, Nelson Lewis and Brand wrap out the rotation. Scoring options, first I'm going to make it Dwight, second I'm going to make it Love, and then third I'm going to have no preference. For system proficiency, it looks like balanced is the way to go for us. Um, who fits in really well? So love kind of hurts a little bit. Ariza, obviously, we're gonna try to look for an upgrade there, and we could for Blood. So we should, because we signed a lot of guys on one-year contracts, so we will have enough for a max deal in free agency. And NBA.com has us at fourth, third Eastern Conference team behind the Bucks. Okay, we'll be better than them. The Bulls, they could be better than us, but I, I expect the Heat to be up there too, as well as the Hawks. Eh. Yeah, the Hawks. And then 2K Sports has us at all the way down at 12. And Mark Spears has us at 1. So let's just honestly try to get a top 3 seed in the East this year. And maybe make it back to the finals. I forgot we literally went to the promise on last year. Alright, so this team... Goes 63-19 in year number two. Russ wins MVP, which is kind of shocking that it's not LeBron for once. Um, this guy wins rookie of the year. Not even going to go into that. James Harden, sixth man of the year. It's Thunder. Why is he still coming off the bench? Is he a free agent? He would be a nice addition to the squad. Hmm. But Dwight Howard's also a free agent, and he was making like 17 mil. And I'm going to have to pay him like 35 mil now. So that's like double the contract. Um, he wins defensive player of the year. Still worth 35 mil anyway. Jordan Crawford most improved. And Billy Donovan. Um, at this time it would have been I guess still Scott Brooks. Wins coach of the year. And another 70 win team for the second year in a row. This one though is a little bit more like understanding. Like I can get I can get behind this team going 70 and 12. Not really that Knicks team from last year. Dwight though gets on a first team. AD gets it in his rookie year. Those are Dwight numbers in his rookie year. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to guess that's going to be our only magic. No, Kevin Love. I forgot. We have a really good player in Kevin Love, and he was really good for us as well. I don't know who our third scoring option probably was. Uh, Dwight gets all defensive first team, and do we get an all-rookie with... Who was our rookie again? Uh, uh, Middleton. Jesus. Okay, none of them made it. So we're the one seed in the Eastern Conference, taking on the eight seed Sixers. So the Sixers, we beat them last year in round one. Uh, pretty much looking exactly the same. Their bench is just a bunch of, I don't, I don't know. They have the GOAT here. They have Kuiza at Kalina as a uh, He, I know he was, I'm pretty sure, in the David Wade trade when the next shipped him to the Warriors. For player stats, uh, Dwight was really good. Uh, so is Love. Redick was our third option. Mike, I would like for that to be James Harden. That would be kind of clean. Uh, Bledsoe really wasn't bad at all. 14 and 6. I would take that for him. Uh, didn't really shoot particularly well, but hey, shot good from the line. Redick, good. I know he's a free agent as well. I think he was asking for like 7 mil. I'm probably going to try to bring him back as well. Uh, there's Middleton. Nelson, who's a free agent too. Ariz and Lewis. We have a lot of free agents. Like all three of these guys are free agents. Plus Redick and Dwight. We got a lot to do in this offseason. Uh, points per game, we were third. Allowed, we were fourth. And point differential, we were second. So we're really freaking good. All right, round one against Philly. I don't think we'll have an issue against them. But Atlanta in the second round will be a little bit of a head case. Um, but they... Wait, Miami's just not good? Did they lose Bosch or Wade or something? Wait, really? James, Wade... Oh, they don't have Bosch anymore. Interesting. Don't tell me you traded Bosch for Evan Ford. All right, round two here against Atlanta. Let's see what happens. We are up 2-0 on them. 3-0, uh, okay. Maybe just the first two rounds were cakewalks, uh, and we win in five. Now, we're taking on Chicago, who obviously have D. Rose, Jimmy Butler, uh, Joachim Noah, uh, Carlos Boozer, Calder, and Wool Dang. Let's see if they can beat us. Um, we're the one seed, and we're down 2-0. Sweet, and we're down 3-0. Splendid. All right, three to one. So for the second year in a row, the Thunder have a good shot at winning the finals. They are up two to one on the Bulls, three to one, three to two, and they end up winning in six. Westbrook this time is your finals MVP. So Jeff Flattery, we were going to have, I believe, Portland's pick, unprotected, and San Antonio's top three. Now, I did check if they made the playoffs. Uh, San okay, San Antonio's pick will not be good. Portland, damn it, they both made the playoffs. That sucks. So the Suns get the number one pick in the draft, and this draft 2013, who, had, who was that one? Oh, it was the Cavs. Two was, what, Orlando? I know Charlotte was in there. Uh, Alex Lenzo, the Suns were in there. Who was, oh, Wizards with Otto Porter. Um, so they're in there as well. So we are picking at 19, 28, and 29. So we do have three first round picks, which I could use in a trade. Do we have any money to get it? My co hunt just kind of sucks. Do we, have, do we have any money? Jesus, we're so broke. Uh, wow, this guy will actually sign with us. Dante Brooks, thank you for taking a pay cut. All right, so no one's the well don't draft him. All right, injuries are on, so I will not be doing that. Uh, I mean, oh wait, I do have Jameer Austin. Might be, I thought he was a free agent. 
So what can I get for Jameer Nelson and two first round packs? Uh, Greg Oden. Uh, uh, like Terrence Ross I would take because he's on a rookie deal. Um, and I would get Calderon. That's not bad. Al Jefferson. 12 mil though. I'm going to need all the money I can get. I have no idea who this guy is. Uh, Euro stash type guy. Brooke Lopez is not a bad player at all either. Damn, he's really good. But he would come off the bench and he really didn't shoot particularly well for a center at all. All right, so I do like that Rubio is kind of nice, but I'm going to take Terrence Ross and counter on, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that trade. Uh, we clear up a decent amount of money here, um, like three mil, so not really that much. Uh, but I'll take it, and Terrence Ross can just replace a Riza, Richard Lewis, or something like that. Uh, so I do have another first at 29, but I don't really care for it, so I'm going to try to move it. I mean, Bogut's kind of clean, but like I said, I want cap space, so I'm going to take a future first from the Hawks. And hopefully it's better than 20 next year so I can get some profit on that. So advancing here to team player options. Bledsoe was our only one. Obviously bringing it back. Hopefully free agency is somewhat good. <laughs> I'm not bringing these Lonnie Widens back. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Dwight Howard. 44. Oh my god, he wants so much money. Alright, I'm going to have 30 mil left over after I give him this. I'm guessing it, this is just above 40 mil. He better accept this. There we go. That's so much money. All right, so I have 30 mil after that. So there kind of goes my heart in my desire. He wants 33 mil. Uh, I mean, this would be less than 30 mil. So I could sign him. We'll see. Does he want that? Damn it, number two. What about Curry? Curry would be pretty clean. Uh, I could offer that to Curry. And nope, he wants to go to the Trailblazers. Nice. Uh, who is my other free agent? Uh, Reddick, he didn't get an offer yet. All right. Damn, I'm going to probably strike out on a lot of these dudes. So, we don't get uh, anybody else. So, I'm going to read out the rights on everybody. But, Dwight and Redick. I'm surprised I don't have Burn on Redick. But, yeah. Harden goes to the Thunder. And, uh, Curry went to the Blazers. Alright, I have no idea if this is going to work. But, I try, I'm try. i trying to get Gerald Wallace. I don't know. And, JJ Redick. I don't know if I can afford both of them on top of Dwight Howard. But, it's saying I maybe can. So, I'm praying. Fingers crossed. I think it'll, it would uh, not let me bring back Gerald Wallace if there was a problem. Okay, cool. We got all of them. So how many players does this put us at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need a backup center and we're good for next year. All right, Gerald Wallace, as you can see on the bottom right, is already down to a 77 overall. So that, oh my God, he sucks. I just paid 15 mil for him to regress like four overalls in literally like a week. All right, now I'm going to want to move him now. All right, I'm going to do this trade to pick up a 24-year-old Nicholas Batum. I do have to throw in my first next year and that Hawks first I got. Oh, that Gerald Wallace signing sucks. Damn it. Uh, it's okay. So, on top of potential, I definitely want to send Middleton, who I honestly could start at the three if I wanted to. I'm going to send Bledsoe, and then we're going to wrap it off and send it to Terrence Ross. Okay, so here's how the minutes are going to go. We are actually going to start Chris Middleton this year. We got Bledsoe, Redick, Middleton, Love, Howard, Batum, Ross, Cowdown, and Omar Sheik. I did sign as our backup center off the bench. Scoring options are going to be Dwight, Love, and uh, we're going to have no prep. Actually... I could send Redick, but I'm going to send Middleton. I want to see what Middleton can do. Since the proficiency, balance is still the way to go. Nothing that's four and a half. Um, balance is four stars, though. And then our preseason power ranking. On NBA.com, it's 10. 2K Sports. Okay, it's not really good. 15 on 2K Sports. All right, but Mark Spears has us at one. I think we're going to be a one seed again. Let's actually try to win it all this year. Please. Okay, so this year, another Thunder player gets MVP. This time, it's Kevin Durant. So, it's been nice to have different MVPs. First year, was uh, LeBron. Second year, was Westbrook. Third year, was KD. Giannis actually fell to three in this past draft, and he actually went to Brooklyn. Uh, James Harden, why is he still coming off the bench? Who are they? I actually need to know who they're starting over him. Dwight, defensive player of the year for the third year in a row. Gordon Hayward, most improved, and... We don't get coach of the year. We won two more games than them. Come on. So Dwight Howard, all-NBA first team. Uh, do we get anybody else? Yes, we do. We do get Kevin Love on all-NBA third team again. He's really freaking good. He's up to a 90 overall now. That was a low-key huge signing for us. Uh, Dwight, all-defensive first team. And that will probably be it for us. Thunder are starting Wesley Johnson over James Harden. You deserve better. A 93 over. Like, what? Come on. All right. So we are the one seed taking on the... Indiana, nope, Boston Celtics in round one. Rondo, Bradley, Pierce, KG, it's an old Celtics team. Uh, I don't think we'll need to worry too much about them. I do not want to see playoff stats. There's none of these. So Dwight, still a stud. Uh, just three blocks a game, 55% from the field. Dude's really good. Kevin Love is actually shooting the ball more than him. I don't know if I like that. Uh, Redick, 15 a game. He shot 40, uh, almost 50% from three. And somebody said in the comments, and it confused me, he's like, does it bother anybody that he doesn't go to the side? Instead, he goes, he just presses on the uh, right stick to see the three-point percentage. 
I mean, it's so much easier. I don't know. Uh, I, I, okay, I'm sorry for that. That was just a dumb thing to bring up. Uh, Middleton, 14, five assists. I'll take it. What's his defensive grade? Because uh, I know he's a good defender. Uh, to C plus. Ugh. All right. Um, there's Bledsoe, 12 and seven. I just paid him like 30 mil a year as an extension. I'm kind of begging on this being the last year. Uh, and then we got T. Ross, Batum, Calderon, and Ashik. Ashik. Points per game, we're second. Allowed, we are first. And point differential. We are first. All right. We're, we're like the best team in the NBA by far. Well, I shouldn't say by far. Like, it's us and the Thunder. But I say this and then I'm going to lose in round one or two. But we are up 2-0 on Boston. 3-0. Can we just sweep them and move on? There we go. We make light work. No issue there. And we're taking on the Toronto Raptors who have DeRozan, Valanchunas, this Woods guy, Ryan Anderson. It's a Ryan Anderson revenge series. They won 43 games. So we won 23 more. And of course, they're up. Why are they up 2-0 on me? Like, come on. That shouldn't happen. All right. 3-2. Let's just one in six. Thank you. Oh, my God. Just, it makes me so annoyed sometimes. All right. So, the Knicks, they're good. They don't have Melo anymore. Damn. All right. We should beat them. There's no way Amari Sotomayor will lead them to victory over us. All right. We're up 2-0. Denver, please beat OKC for me. Oh, OKC is trying to repeat in this video. I will not let it happen. I will not let this happen. They're so good. <laughs> they're so freaking good. All right. Game one. Let's see how this goes. We're at home. Good first quarter, boys. Uh, not a good second quarter. Uh, uh, what the hell? Uh, they're so good. Like, they're so freaking good. All right. Game. Come on. Like, our bigs got to dominate them. We got to win game two. This is must win. This is must win. Do not blow this. Thank you. We won by six. Almost blow that in the fourth. Dwight, I need more of these. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need more 41 and 12 performances. Game three. It's going to be in OKC now, which kind of sucks. Come on. We need to steal game three. Uh, there'll be no stealing of us on game three. We lose by 10, which kind of sucks. All right, game four. This is must win. We cannot go down three to one, and I have a bad feeling we are going to go down three to one. Come on, just stay afloat. Why do we have to blow everything? Like, why? Jesus. All right, I'm going to have to hop in this game. Okay, uh, I might not have to. All right, I will have to. All right, thank God we have the ball. All right, so something I'm going to do that I don't normally usually do is my main target is just giving it to Dwight in the post, like literally every possession. Uh, the dude's got 38 and 13. He's got Alex Len on him. All right, there we go. That should be easy money. I'm literally just going to do that for the rest of the game. We have currently, okay, Bledsoe guarding Westbrook. Oh, good defense. All right, he's got B minus perimeter D. No way. V it's that we're going to have a problem. All right, good board, Dwight. That's his 14th. Up to JJ. Should I shoot this? You know what? I'm going to shoot this. JJ, come on. I know that wasn't a good release. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Never mind. I'm going back to the whole Dwight Howard every possession mindset. We literally have Nicholas Batum guarding KD. This is not good at all. Is this Reggie Jackson or like Pierre Jackson? I have no idea. But why does he have like AI handles on me? Stop it. All right. Good defense, Redick. Good defense, Redick. No way. If they hit that, I'm actually going to rage. Come on. Oh my God. If he hit that, I was actually going to have an issue. All right. Up to Middleton. Uh, I could have shot that, but nope, 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 nope. I am not resist. I am resisting to shooting. Uh, we are not the 2019 Rockets. We are not taking threes every position, possession. I'm going to Dwight. Dwight, easy money. Bro, it's Alex freaking Len. You're arguably the best center of all time at this current moment. Well, not really, but how did he get that piss? All right, I'm going to go pick and roll with Dwight. I don't know if this is even going to be smart, but I need to score quickly, and I really only want the ball in Dwight's hands. All right, but so to the rack. I'm getting fouled. And one. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that after the last possession. The cheese I just had. All right, but so please hit this free throw. You're going to miss it, aren't you? I, I hate this game. Fuck this. Of course he misses that free throw. Like, I could have literally bet my life savings he was going to miss that free throw. JJ, you need to hit this. Please. That was almost a perfect release. I'm done. I'm actually I'm actually done. I'm actually done. JJ Redick is literally good at one thing. One thing. And he literally can't do the one thing he's good at. All right. Well, now we're down three to one. And I'm not even going to blame that on me being crap. I literally played that game. I thought, fine. Uh, JJ Redick just can't hit, open, open, hit, can't hit an open shot. Eric Bledsoe can't hit a free throw. But I get almost the perfect release on that. And we're just going to lose at five. I'm done. Are we going to win or are we going to lose? We're down by two. I mean, I'll try to keep us alive. I'll, I'll try to keep us alive. I want redemption. I'm sorry. I am getting really annoyed. All right. I'm going to be calm, relax, and we're going to win this game. We're at home. Like, it's game five. I'm due for a win. Uh, they currently got to Ibaka. All right. They're going to go by two. That's fine. Just to, uh, Dwight Howard did fall out. That's all I'm happy for. All right. They're up by two. It's okay. There's a lot of time left. I'm calm. I just did, like, 30 minutes of yoga, meditation. All right. We're going to win this. I just went to, like, the deep Alps of, like, uh, Dwight, post up. 
I'm not going to throw this to you in the post because Kevin Durant's going to steal it. All right, Dwight. Come on, you got Alex one on you. Let's go. Easy money, Dwight. Easy money. There we go. It's too easy. How did, how did I not steal that? How did I not steal that? Thank you for missing a free throw. All right, Bledsoe. Bledsoe, should I shoot that? Uh, no. He, okay, Bledsoe to the rim. All right, please hit that. Fuck. Who's got Tarden? Dwight, please. Dwight. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry.